this is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a music teacher who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacher tours, and all things that might hopefully make your life just a little bit easier. Today I'm gonna to be doing a really quick book review slash recommendation on the book, Go See the Principal. So I'm not gonna do a review on every book that I read because you probably don't need a review on the Chronicles of Narnia, but when I read a book that is specific to teaching or teacherpreneurs, or I just think you really need to read it, then I'm going to do a video about it to get a little bit more in depth. If you find this video helpful or interesting, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that other people can see it as well. All right, so this book is called Go See the Principal, True Tales from the School Trenches by, I don't know if that's Gary or Jerry, Brooks. Um, he is an administrator in Kentucky and he has a YouTube channel where he has a bunch of like funny teacher videos that talk about a lot of different things. And this book is kind of like writing down. Actually, a lot of them start the chapters with um, things that he has had in some of his videos. And so it'll have like kind of a transcription of at least a little bit of it. This book was really entertaining, really funny. I did not know what I was getting into. I just had seen it around. So I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was very, very true. And it talks a lot about, um, on the back it says, a guide to empower educators in order to empower us all. So part of it is for parents, part of it's for teachers, part of it's for administrators. And it's kind of just all these different things and all these observations of like what helps the school run the best and it goes through a lot of different things it talks about transportation it talks about the lunchroom it talks about hair and volunteers like it talks about all those different things um i enjoyed this book but it wasn't super practical like i didn't walk away thinking like oh i can use all these things in my classroom um because it was different things like for teachers for administrators for parents a lot of it I didn't feel like really applied to me like it was funny it was interesting to read and it was all true it was all very true the whole time I was like yep that's true that's true that's true but I was like did I really need to do that <laughs> um so I am kind of on the fence as to whether I'd recommend it it depends on what you're looking for if you are reading this as like trying to you know get deeper into pedagogy if you're reading it because you just want to read it for fun yeah um so i had gotten it with the intention of like getting deeper into pedagogy so i was a little bit disappointed but i still enjoyed it like i said it was very entertaining very very true the whole time i was like i agree with everything a couple of things that i really did enjoy about the book because i did enjoy it overall it just wasn't quite what i was expecting i guess um so it has different chapters about all different things again and one chapter i really liked was talking about the principal's office um and how the principal's office is a place of business and how the secretary cannot babysit all the children and how teachers like to send kids to the principal's office and they get sent back and this is an issue that we have in my school all the time i hear people, teachers saying i can't get anything done with this kid so why do they keep sending them back and i'm like what else do you think they're gonna do with them? I don't say that to the teachers because you know they're always frustrated when they're having this conversation, but I'm like, where do you think they're gonna put them? Like, it's not just gonna like, you know, they can't suspend every kid every day for everything that they do. Um, so it talks a lot about that in particular and how um, teachers need to be a little bit more understanding and maybe come up with different ways to deal with kids maybe like buddying up with another teacher so that you can send the kid across the hall or things like that as opposed to just sending them to the principal and them sending them back five minutes later which again something i see a lot um another thing they had some different ideas about parent communication with like notes home and different things and especially talking to parents about making sure that they were actually looking through backpacks and different things and talking to teachers about what they need to do to make sure communication is key. So talking about how you should differentiate communication, maybe send emails and a note home or maybe a note home and a phone call um, and just having better communication with the parents. I also enjoyed at the end, it has a whole section where it says teachers teaching teachers and it is a whole bunch of just little quick tips from different teachers 
and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of found this like the most helpful and practical part of the book. So it was really interesting, very varied. Some of them, like this one says, five ways to sustain a strong marriage for educators. Some of them, five tips for encouraging young writers. Um, just flexible seat implementation, lots of random things, but really helpful and like specific. So that was, if you're looking for something to help you pedagogically, that was really the only thing that would help you. If you're looking, so in conclusion, this was a really fun book. Um, it was very entertaining. I enjoyed it. It was fun to read at the pool, a nice little paperback. It was cheap. I think it was maybe around $10, might've been closer to 15. Um, but if you're looking to dive deeper into pedagogy, don't pick it up. If you're looking for fun, go ahead and pick it up. I'll leave a link down below for it from Amazon. It is very entertaining. It's just fun. So you can go read it. It is fun. Just don't read it if you're expecting to like come out with a whole bunch of tips and tricks for your classroom because that's not what it is. All right, I'm curious, have you read this book? If so, please let me know down below what you thought about it. Um, if not, you can pick it up, read it, and then leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about it. Um, and if you completely disagree and think it's the greatest book ever, I am 100% okay with that. Like I said, I enjoyed it. It just wasn't a lot of like practical application stuff. It was more like entertaining and kind of general things for teachers and for administrators and for parents. So lots of different things. If you liked it or didn't like it, let me know down below in the comment. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that you and other people can see more videos like it. And if you have any book recommendations that you would like me to read, then leave those down below because I'm always looking for something new to read, especially if it has to do with teaching stuff or if it's just for fun. I don't really care. Leave it down below and I will check it out. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful week.